YouTube. How's it going, guys? <laughs> I am on my way to work. I haven't worked on in a, on a Saturday for a year now. Like, I have one client that comes every, I think she comes every eight weeks. And she comes, so I went in every eight weeks on a Saturday. And that's like crazy for a hairdresser because, because Saturdays were always the biggest day. You never miss Saturday. Like since in the 20, gosh, how long has it been? 90, 22 years, 20. I just found my uh, beauty school diploma too. It's crazy, right? All the 20 plus years I've been doing hair, I've always had to work on a Saturday. Uh, my oldest kid gets in high school and he gets involved in marching band. You know, it's like, oh, okay, well, we'll be involved in marching band. I mean, you know, sure. Like, I have to give him money and show up to a car wash or two. You know, it's like, no. You're like with the band. As parents go to each competition and help roll all the equipment out on the field or you're helping with makeup. The husbands are driving the trucks. I mean, the kids gotta load the trucks and unload the trucks. You gotta put all the stuff together because it's a big show. It is a huge commitment. <laughs> Not only on the child's part, who is the one doing it going to school and such, but the parent as well. I remember as a kid, like, I don't like my sister was just saying the other day maybe she was like I played the clarinet like all through elementary school and junior high and it's like I don't think my dad ever went to one of her concerts my dad was a musician that was probably why hung over like what we were <laughs> as I got older and I started hanging out with musicians I, I sort of understood my dad in a completely different way than when you're young right when you become an adult you kind of go oh it is kind of a weird cloudy day. My sister I gave a shout out to the other day, not the one that I work with in the salon, but this sister lives on the East Coast. She said it's raining like cray cray there. She is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. I wish she would YouTube because she is gorgeous and funny. Holy cow. Funny. Oh, I am sending her all of the sunshine that Um, isn't it cool? Like, technology's kind of cool and it's kind of lame, you know? It's really cool in the way that, like, if you've ever gone and got, like, a breast exam, how they show you what it looks like. They can literally, like, go through each layer of your skin. Like, it's like they're slicing right through the side of it or the front of it or whatever. That's how they see it. <laughs> crazy and start booking every Saturday but you know I gotta fill up my days I work for myself so basically I can I have a key and I can have access to my room 24 7 I can do hair whenever I want on whatever day I want however I want shut my door we can party in there That was like my party dance. You know, it's different than a happy dance. I want to say hello to a lot of people because I started my mentions vlog. You know, as a mother, really never had any privacy. Privacy. Wait, Ozzy Osbourne says privacy. Now my husband's retired, so he's always home. <laughs> it was kind of cool because last summer we weren't renting out his mother's townhouse yet. He was kind of staying over there, taking care of stuff, you know. <laughs> and it was awesome. I mean, Carol Burnett did an interview where they asked her. Now, a lot of you might not know who Carol Burnett is, so I'm going to put a picture up. She was a comedian when I was a little girl. I guess she would be equivalent to maybe like Roseanne. 
I'm sure you guys all know who Roseanne is. You've seen the Roseanne show, but she was a comedian first. So this would be Carol Burnett. The interviewer asked her, um, you know, so would you ever get married again? And she said, well, yeah, but he would have to live next door. <laughs> somebody that understands. Why should two people who have been brought up completely different from one another in completely different types of households under totally different circumstances, different cultures, why should you be forced to live together? Sure, when you're all in love and you're young and you want to play house, you want to live together, it's fun. But you've been together for a really long time. You know, you're secure enough in yourself as an individual, and you're also very secure in very secure as I'm sorry, excuse me. Very secure in your relationship. Mm. Having two separate residences, I mean, come on. I mean, you can still spend the night together at each other's places and stuff, but it's like in those times where you're just like, just when you're in the other room, all you can't destroy anything and you can't yell and you're like, do you guys do that? Because I know I'm not the only one. Why? Why should we be forced? There was a few times I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Phoenix house because I have to work in the morning and when we rented it out, we were, we were kind of nervous about moving in together again, you know? Which was, that was kind of fun. Kind of be nervous about like totally being together like 24 <gasps> seven. Yeah. I definitely love him with all of my heart and soul. I would like to have my own house <laughs> with my own things. Someone almost just ran into me. Did you see that? Did you see that? We make it to 70, guys. We are fucking lucky. Rant of the day. It's noon on a Saturday and nobody is at my work. That is kind of weird. Oh man, I don't know if I give myself enough room. I hate it when I talk. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes! One and done. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Just got done with work. Um, got done with work a little bit early. And I kind of work in a very young and hip part of town. <gasps> I hate that I don't ever remember. See the bar behind me? This is <clears throat> like just the young hip youth bar scene, which I don't do anymore. I like to, I mean, I'll go to a restaurant and drink. I'll go sit at the bar at a restaurant, but I don't really go to bars. I mean, I take that back. Um, I do go to bars, but typically for live music. But I do not just go into bars. Like if our friend's band is playing, that's really the only time. For a reason. I didn't need a reason before. Just went. A lot of my friends were bartenders, so sometimes you just go and sit and talk to them. Ooh, that looks like a nice place, but... I also kind of work in a part of town where it's like kind of ritzy ditzy too. So it's this weird mix of like, like little Mexico and Beverly Hills. It'll be kind of hard to imagine, right? I must get some Petro and then I'm stopping for dinner to take home. My son Vinny um, is at a friend's house right now. The mom just picked him up. So me and dad get to hang out for a few hours alone. It's like 4.30, she's going to bring him back around 7. So, yeah, just hang tight there. Just getting petrol.
Hey, the moon. So, um, yes, I think I've come to the conclusion that I really like this microphone versus the other microphone, which is really weird because I didn't even really research the microphone. That <laughs> Read reviews on stuff. I feel like that's more of a, of a, you know, I get more of a chance on Ugh. The place that I'm going to pick up dinner is cash only. So, cash, 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 cash. You know, I'm just thinking about my sister Gianna. You guys, everybody, give her the good juju. Oh. Needs to send her good vibes and send her some love, send some sunshine over there. She said it's raining like great. Everybody needs some sunshine. Yes, so we are gonna go back east for Thanksgiving, and I'm just so hoping I'm gonna get to see G and everyone. So I'm just <sighs> missing it over there. I've only been to the East Coast one time, that was last year, and I'm just I'm hooked. Just want to go all the time now. <laughs> Whenever my man's like, "What do you? Where should we go?" I'm all, "Let's go back east." <laughs> this time I'm hitting Boston. I'm hitting Salem. We're doing all the things, man. We're doing all the things. We're gonna do the Paw Revere Trail thingy, and I'm gonna get to go see, you know, where normal, regular people got burned at the stake. No, I'm just kidding. There's a really good movie came out in the 80s i think it stars kirsty alley and it's just called the salem witch trials i think it does a really good job depicting like what could have actually been going on with these girls these kids that were the ones that were you know apparently being taken over their bodies were being taken over and you know they were the ones that were pointing out who were the witches and you know these adults just kind of believed them literally ran around and believed these kids like they were like she's a witch and they're like kill her and they're just like she's a witch and they're like kill her you know and it's just like really till literally somebody comes and says oh girl you're not gonna make it in those shoes all night honey oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope you have some aspirin in that small purse girl these young kids, they just wait till they got bunions like me. <laughs> I would never wish that on anybody. It's whatever. What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Squirrel. Oh yeah, Salem Witch Trial. So that's kind of the cool thing about back east is like everything's like all right there. Ugh. When we went there last year. Ugh. I know some of you were like, do that again. Last year, like we went to DC, we went to Philly, we went, it was like went to New York City, went to Rhode Island. And, you know, to take the train to Rhode Island, you got to go through all these other states. And it's just like, it's just crazy because, like, you know, out in the West, it's just like Utah, drive all the way to Colorado, I drive all the way to Arizona, drive all the way. You know, it's just like everything's so far. Like all the states are like California, Arizona, like, you know, just so. And then it's like, if you look up by Rhode Island, it's like, there's just like a bunch of them, like right there, like pretty cool. Like just like, I don't know. It's just American history is like very, um, I don't know. I'm just like really into it. And I think maybe because like ancestrally, I, I lived on these plains. I lived on the plains before. So the 1883 uh, is basically about how this family comes upon the land that they have. And I guess even because um, Tombstone is like, I've never seen it, but it's like based on like the today time. It's, it's um, present day. And so 1883 is just kind of like the journey that this family takes and how they end up with this land in Montana. I don't watch a lot of television be anymore because we don't have cable. So you can't just sit there and like, DVR everything and then watch whatever you want because you have all these shows recorded, you know. But now it's kind of grinding down to just YouTube. It's kind of like we just watch YouTube. 
You know what I mean? They have YouTube TV, which would fit. It does have DVR and all this and that. But I just, I, you know, it's just certain shows I like to watch. And I'll watch them over and over and over again. I really don't need to be watching TV. And I don't watch Tombstone because, I don't know, I, I just, it doesn't look like a show I would like. But I like, like, westerns, but I don't like, I guess, modern westerns. I don't know. <laughs> And then I watched this other show, Warrior, which is freaking awesome. Just finished season three, but I don't know if they're going to have another season. It kind of just ended where if it did end, you just kind of like wonder what happened to the, you know, to them. But they could continue and get themselves out of this little mess they found themselves in. So, but it just got pretty intense, like right away and kind of quick. And I don't know how much more they could do with this. It's based off the writings from Bruce Lee. So it's like, how many writings did he actually have? Like, they keep going and going, or are these his writings? Or is that just a season one in his writings? Like, I didn't really go that far on the research, so I don't know. So happy to be off work. And it definitely is a day that people want to come and, um, you know, I got to open my books up a little bit more because it's that time of year. Everybody wants to get in. Everyone, this is wedding season starts now and it'll go on through June. You got to be available because if you're not, somebody else will be, right? Right? October, I have a wedding. And then, of course, Halloween is like my favorite time, but it just kind of sucks because... When you like a holiday so much like that, like everything leading up to the holiday is just so awesome. Like right now, like the feeling I'm getting and seeing everything in the stores and and just you know getting into the season and it just starts now and then it just like drops you and you hit the ground like a safe. <laughs> that dramatic, but that's how much I love this time of the year. I just, I do. I just love it. I, a lot of people that don't, and I get it. I get it. Things change. Family dynamics change. Matriarchies, you know, die. and Nothing stays the same. Your age, not your car, not your traditions. The traditions are just like, like strangleholds from the dead, you know, things, people that are no longer around made up and you're, oh, we got to keep up with grandpa's tradition. Well, you know, what if how Christmas came around? Like it was a tradition. Well, okay. I'm not going to argue. Just saying. It's so funny. Cause it's just like, it's like, eh, I don't want to start traditions, but then it's just like when nobody wants to take over your tradition, it's what are you going to do? Be all butthurt about it. Happen in the future. I love Saturday nights. Like, even though I don't go out and party like I used to, it's still just like Saturday night. This is Saturday night. I don't know. It's kind of like anything goes. It's like, what's going to happen? Will, will I drink tonight? Will I just cook? Or will I just like edit videos in my room alone with nobody bothering me? I mean, that's just a fantasy world, you know? Just kidding. Nothing stays the same. And you have to roll with it because you can either roll with it or just let them roll you over. You know, and I think I'd rather roll with it. On that note, signing off. Ciao. Ciao. My, my tag. Ciao.